Well, June is PTSD Awareness Month, and one organization is hoping to improve and save the lives of returning combat veterans using specially trained service dogs. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane with that story tonight. Naomi? Hey there, Kurt. According to a 2016 study done by the Department of Veterans Affairs, 20 veterans commit suicide every day uh, in this country, and that could have been David Crenshaw. However, he thanks K-9 for Warriors for giving him the life he says he should have always had. I joined the military at 17, entered public service at 18, and was off to war by 2021. I was a young kid. What did I know? So my only orientation in life was service, conflict, combat. David Crenshaw is a 20-year retired master sergeant with the Army National Guard. He served as a protective service agent in Iraq. He returned from combat with severe post-traumatic stress disorder. He describes the day he received his diagnosis. And all the last word I really heard was you're highly functioning. What I didn't bring home and tell anybody was that she said my demise was going to be because of my service. According to the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, at least 20% of veterans of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars suffers from PTSD. 12% of Gulf War veterans and nearly 300,000 Vietnam War veterans. No matter how much the military trains you to succeed or the police train you to succeed, no one trains you to fight that mental fight that you need to have. In search of help, David applied to Canines for Warriors, an organization that trains rescue dogs to be service dogs for veterans suffering from PTSD. David was paired with now four-year-old Doc, a German short-haired Springer black lab mix in April of 2019. And he says Doc has made a huge impact on his life, making it easier for him to handle daily tasks. It's been a, a huge calming effect. Right? I don't have to be on guard. David says because of his own experience with PTSD, he now better understands why the number of veterans committing suicide daily continues to rise. I can understand why someone sees that as an outlet, why that's their only option. And I never wanted that for me and I never wanted that for my kids. Naomi, just a couple of questions. So where are the dogs rescued from and how long do they train them before they're paired up with a vet? Kurt, these dogs are coming from high kill shelters, right? So saving them from those situations, it takes about six months to train a dog at about $30,000. I should throw that in there. And that's all uh, money that's raised through donations. Now with David, he got Doc about uh, after about a year after he applied for uh, for this program. And now right now the wait is over a year. We're talking a year or two if you're on that list, Kurt. Yeah. All right, Naomi Yane tonight, thank you.